Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing team member card with a wonderful hover effect without the use of any line of CSS code or additional plugin. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to achieve something that looks like this. And when you come over here, you hover, you can see more details about that particular team member and social icon that are clickable here and also the same thing here and here as well. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So in our elemental editing screen, what we're gonna do, we're gonna first of all come over here and add the flexbox container. So let's select this structure here. Now for this container here, we're gonna come over here, set the content width to full width, and then for the minimal height, we're gonna set, change the union from pixel to VH and give it a value of 100. Now we're gonna come over here, and then we're gonna justify content to the center and align items to the center as well. Then we'll head over to the style option, change the background type, the background type to uh, color black okay and then we're gonna come over here let's come and drag a container and drop it here now we're gonna call this one here our parent container and then we're gonna call this one here card okay now for this card container here we're gonna set the content width to full width and then for the width we're gonna set the width change the unit from percentage to pixel and give it a value of 300 pixel and then for the minimal height, we're going to give it a value of 400 pixel. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and set the item direction to column vertical. And then for the justify content here, we're going to leave it the way it is. And then we're going to come over to the gap and set the gap to 10 pixel or round. Okay, and then we're going to go over to the advanced settings here. And for the padding, we're going to give it a value of 20 pixel or round. Okay, great. So now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here and drag an image and drop it here. Now for this image here, we're going to select this image here. And then we're going to come over here for the image resolution, we're going to set it to full. And we're going to go to the style option. And then for the maximum width, we're going to set the value to 70%. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here to the border radius. Change the unit from pixel to percentage and then give it a value of 100 so we get a perfect circle, circular image like what we're gonna what we'll have here so the next thing we'll do we'll come over to our widget area and then we're gonna drag a heading text and drop it right below this image here and for the text we're gonna call this one john do and then we'll go to the style option and tweak it a little bit align the text to the center for the text color we're gonna set it to white and then for the typography, we're gonna come over here, set the font size to 25 pixel, leave it the font formula at default. You can set it, set yours to whatever you want to switch whatever project you're working with. And then we're gonna come over here to the width, and then we're gonna set the width to 600 semi bold. Okay, great. So now that we've done this, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna come over to our widget area and drag the container and drop it right below this heading text here. Okay, now for this container here, we're gonna call this container child container. Remember the reason why we rename our containers is so that whenever I'm making reference to a particular container, you know the container I'm talking about. Okay. So now for this child container here, we're gonna come over here. And then for the width, we're gonna leave it the way it is. For the minimal height, we're gonna set the minimal height value to 600 pixel. Okay. So then for this child container, still on this child container, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and then we're going to set this um, call item direction, we're going to set it to column vertical and then for the justify content, we're going to justify content to the end. And then we're going to go to our um, widget area here and then we're going to drag and drop a container right within this container here. Now for this container here, we're gonna call it inner. This is the container. We're gonna call it our uh, inner. Okay, now in this inner container here, we're gonna come over here. And then first of all, we're gonna come over to the gaps. I'm gonna change it, set the gap to five pixel all round. And we're gonna go to the advanced settings and we're gonna set the padding to 20 pixel all round. Okay, great. Now we'll come back to our widget area and let's drag the text editor and drop it here. Now for this text editor, we're going to reduce the text length a little bit, okay, and then we'll come over to the style option and we'll tweak it a little bit as well. So for the align items, we're going to align it to the center, 
with a text color we're gonna set it to white and then yep so we're gonna come back to our widget area and we're gonna search for social and let's drag this social icons and drop right below this text here now we're gonna come over to the shape and set the shape to circle we're gonna leave the column up to auto and the align item to the center then we'll come over to the style option and for the color here we're gonna come over and set it to custom color and for the primary color we're gonna set the primary color to white and the secondary color we're gonna set it to black okay great now we're gonna come over here for the size we're gonna set the size to 20 pixel and for the spacing we're gonna set it to 10 pixel great so now that we've done this the next thing we're gonna do here is um, we're gonna come back here to our child container this container here and then we're gonna go to the advanced settings and we're gonna come over to the position and set the position to absolute okay so we now have something like this now the next thing we're gonna do is we can see that this our card container here now have this as an overflow so to fix this we're gonna come over to this card container here go to the layout then we'll come over to the additional option and then we're gonna set the overflow to hidden now we no longer have the overflow okay great so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this child container here and then we're going to come over to the advanced settings now for the advanced settings we're going to come over to the transform now for the normal state we're going to set the offset to be zero we're going to set the offset to be zero and then we're going to come over to the hover now for the offset for the hover we're going to set it to for the y axis offset y we're going to set it to minus 200 now the reason for this minus 200 is just simple mathematics what we did here is if you remember our card container this card container here we set the minimum height to be 400 pixel okay now for the child container we will added the child container we now came over here and set the minimum height to be 600 thereby causing it to be an overflow on our card container now for our we will come over here to our transform effect what we now did is the offset we now subtracted 200 pixels from the offset of our child container thereby setting the container when you hover it to now have the same height as that of our card container which is 400 pixels so now when you come over here now let's before we go let's come over here and set the transition duration now you can set the transition duration to whatever value you want between the values of 600 to 900 so you can have that perfect transition so we're going to set ours to 700 milliseconds and now when you come over here and you hover on this card you can see this wonderful effect here anywhere on the card you hover you have this wonderful effect okay so now we are not done we are still going to add some minor effect to this card so to do so what we're going to do next is we're going to come over to our card here now for this card we're going to come over to the style option for the card and then we're going to come over to our border now we come over to the hover effect for the border and then for the border type we're going to set it to solid and for the border weight we're going to give it a value of three pixel now for the border color we're going to set the color to db line d00 okay and then we're going to set the border radius to 10 pixel all round now we're going to come over to the box shadow now for the box shadow we're going to set the box shadow color to solid white so to do so we're just going to drag this here and then we're going to so drag the color to white great now for the horizontal we're going to give it a value of 10 pixel for the vertical we're going to give it another value of 10 pixel now for the blur we're going to set the blur to zero and for the spread we're going to leave it at zero as well so now when you come over here and you hover you're going to have this wonderful effect here if we were anywhere on the card then i have this wonderful effect so the next thing now we can do here is we can just come over here and let's duplicate this card here okay let's duplicate it again now we can come for this middle container middle card change the image here to be this image here and then we can change the heading title to the I'm a, I'm a Jones. I'm a do. Let's talk about an I do. 
and do and then we can also come over here to the third content third card and then let's change the image to be something like this and then we can change the heading here to be Pira Pira do it's all up now we now have this wonderful effect now you can still go as far as changing the border color to suit the border color of the background images here or you can just leave it the way it is depending on the primary color or your color scheme for your project okay so that's pretty much it about this tutorial as you can see we were able to achieve this wonderful hover effect on our team member card without the use of any line of css code or additional plugin now we can just come over here to the parent container here and then we'll go to the advanced settings and for the pattern we'll give it a value of 100 all round we're going to unlink this and then we're going to set this to 20 pixel and then to the right we're going to set it to 20 pixel we'll go back to the layout and then we'll come over here to the wrap and set it to wrap now the reason for this is so that when we check it on other devices it's going to look great as well as you can see on tablet let's just turn off this navigator on tablet you can see it's looking great on tablet and then when you come over to the mobile you can see it's still looking great on mobile as well even though hover effects doesn't really mean anything on mobile because there is no hover effect on mobile but just for beauty sake it looks great as you can see so we're just gonna come over here click on update and then we can just click on preview to preview our changes now we now have this wonderful effect here okay and so we've come to the end of this tutorial if you've learned something new from this tutorial please remember to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it as well and if you're new to our channel you can hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused or have any suggestion and I'll do well to attend to as much as I can but until then, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.